Hi guys, good evening. Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be doing my episode review on the latest episode of The CW's Containment. And also, I'll be addressing my thoughts on the uh, unfortunate but kind of confusing news that the show has been canceled so it's that's uh, kind of confusing and I'll explain later but before I uh, start talking too much uh, let me just uh, uh, warn all of you that this episode review video will be full of uh, big spoilers for tonight's episode so if you're not caught up on containment keep uh, do not keep watching or listening to this video as I will be discussing big spoilers and uh, things that happened tonight's episode and uh, once you are caught up uh, come on back and give it a watch and a listen I think you'll like it okay you have been warned that being said um, the news came out a few days ago saying that the CW had canceled, canceled containment. And at first I was like, oh shoot, does that mean we're not going to finish the rest of this season? And then when this episode aired, I'm like, oh, okay, so they must intend to show at least this episode. And I don't know if they're going to show the rest of it. It feels like they're going to show the rest because we're supposed to get 13 episodes and the thing is, is that I never was under the assumption this was a brand new series. This, uh, like the advertisement said, is a 13 episode event, implying that it was meant to be a one time thing, one mini series. You know, it's supposed to be one mini uh, mini series with only 13 episodes. So I was, I was just kind of thrown off when they said that the CW decides to cancel containment i was very thrown off because i'm like cancel how can you because i'm like okay did the, does that mean like no more episodes starting now or does this mean no more episodes after the end of the final episode i don't know i'm very uh, i'm very confused by it i don't know if they intended it for it to be a series or not quite frankly i don't know how long you could make a show go on if it's about a quarantine in the middle of the city. That's why I thought this would be a good idea for a mini series event, not an entire overall series. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. It was, you know, it was unfortunate news, but at the same time, not really that uh, depressing considering that, uh, you know, it's uh, supposed to be a mini series event anyway. So getting to the episode tonight, uh, tonight was about, you know, people uh, starting to, you know, really feel like uh feel like they're really under pressure they're starting to hit their breaking points because it's like everybody inside and outside of the cordon has a job to do and people are starting to lose their cool their patience and they're starting to hit their breaking point and some of them are beginning to question as to whether or not they should keep following orders so to speak uh you know they put they pulled a very uh, risky move they uh, successfully brought in a food drop and i was actually expecting a full-blown panic riot scene when the full when the food drop happened but they actually informed the citizens inside the cordon we are having a food drop at this time at this location and everybody just get in line and you'll all get a box of MREs I was like wow I'm I'm kind of surprised as to how they're handling this it feels like they would do it in a bit more of a secretive way so that they don't have everybody swarming at them but Maybe not. Obviously, things were handled pretty well up until the point the gang or the the gang members showed up armed to the teeth and uh, robbed them of the rest of the food. And at first, I thought, "What selfish assholes!" You know, just half a dozen guys are stealing all this food just for all of them. But then it occurred to me, and sure enough, the leader said it outright to Jake while holding him at gunpoint. Ah, profit. Yes, they're going. They intend to sell it to people. They're gonna give it back in a sense by now selling it to the trapped uh, starving citizens inside so uh, that's their end game and uh, they've seized control of uh, of the grocery store that they saved in the previous episode and they're now making poor Xander uh, work for them so to speak so uh, that makes sense so they're you know they're not you know it's like uh, they're not completely heartless where they're just keeping all this food for themselves to eat they just want to make a couple bucks by selling it back to people people who probably don't have much money to begin with because as we saw in the opening scene people are starving they're eating pigeons there was a child eating out of a trash can and it looks like almost like a third world country but then you remember this is in the middle of an American city. It's just like one entire, it's like a couple of sectioned off neighborhoods in this quarantine zone the inside the cordon. You know, it's not, 
It's not an entire city, fortunately. It's just a, a section of the city that's been sealed off. And it's, it's you know, it's kind of heartbreaking and sad to see how fast things go from bad to worse on containment. I mean, it's what makes entertainment, entertaining TV for us, but for our characters, you can't help but feel sorry for them because they're in such a horrible, horrible situation. And now you've got gangs controlling the food, and then most of the food was distributed to the people, but now... A lot of it is in the hands of the gang members who are going to use this to just control, use to further control the cordon and uh, most importantly for them, make money off of it. And then you've got characters who want answers. You know, you've got Katie who discovers that a missing page out of the visitor sign in proving that, you know, uh, patient zero was not patient zero after all, that two people died before him. And now she's got Jake on the case, so to speak. And he's informed Lex about it. And Lex is questioning his superiors. He's questioning uh, the woman who's in charge of the operation he's questioning the chief you know every you know this court this episode i felt like the theme was uh you know uh what is driving people right now fear and hunger desperation flat out desperation and starvation because they encountered so many characters who were physically starving and they got characters who are also questioning what they're actually doing and if what they are doing is actually right and i also thought it was interesting how some people who are in, trapped inside the cordon are actually you know quite carefree about their situation because you had the bikers going all mad max down below in the parking garage that made it difficult for janna to leave her building and come back into and at first you know i thought oh shit you know they're gonna rob her of her food and uh, who knows maybe assault her or something but fortunately the nice maintenance guy who was living on the roof happened to be nearby and saved her in the nick of time and uh, saved the food from being stolen as well but i was just surprised at how carefree these guys were acting by dicking around on their motorcycles and just going around like there was no problem like it wasn't the end of days like they're just like oh whatever you know we don't have to work we don't have to do anything let's just you know kick back and relax and play around on our motorcycles while everybody else starves and worries themselves out there whatever you know it's like it was interesting to see how people react differently in crisis situations like this you know some people act rationally and sensibly like jake and lex and other p characters in positions of leadership and katie trying to keep her students safe and calm other people tend to panic more others uh take tend to take advantage of the situation like the leader of the gang you know we got different kinds of people in a crisis situation it makes for great storytelling and i'm also curious as to what's going on with the cop who was supposedly uh, left behind on accident during the food drop it seems like it seems like it's implied that he is sent behind enemy lines so to speak by the chief of police don't know what his, what his plans are yet he's clearly got orders that he's got to carry out but we don't know what's going on yet like I said, all the more for uh, great storytelling and good television. I was sad to hear the, st the story that, uh, you know, the show was canceled, but I wasn't entirely heartbroken either knowing that this was only a 13-episode uh, event, so... Uh Oh well. Well guys, I hope you liked this episode of Containment as much as I did. I hope you're not too heartbroken about the news concerning it being cancelled. Uh, also, uh, please don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to this channel for more review videos like this one and uh, like this video. And uh, check out my Facebook page in the description down below. What did you guys think of tonight's episode? Was it good? Was it about the same? Uh, were there parts you didn't really care for or confused you? Please leave your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback down below in the comments section. I would love to hear from everybody. As usual, let's please keep it, keep it civil and be respectful of one another's beliefs and opinions. Uh, check out Containment every Tuesday night on The CW. Uh, you know, we're uh, almost halfway through uh, the first half of uh, the miniseries and, uh, you know, I think it's just going to keep getting better and better and more intense with each episode. So uh, very exciting stuff and I hope you guys liked it. Thanks again for stopping by here on The Edward. Have a great rest of the night and of course, until next time, may the force be with you.